yo, what's good, people? It's Holy Lord Sanctus, and this is episode two of Let's Do Lunch. It's the FG Thriller episode. We're at the sidecar in San Luis Obispo, Cinco de Mayo. Some fish tacos, carnitas, tacos, some churro chips. And it's up. It's up. How you? How the chips? Chips is fucking gas, bro. How was the drive? The drive was cool too. I was right around right now. <laughs> all good. It's all good. So, um, first of all, I mean, the latest uh, latest record you're on is uh, Fake News, feature, uh, Central Coast GA featuring FG Thriller. So, check that out. That shit's going crazy. I can't wait to hear it in the club. Before that, you dropped Face It. Face It. And then High, uh, high as Fuck. And then, uh, was it Taliban before that? Yeah. Okay. But that was all in a pretty much like six month period. You was just back to back to back to back to back. Is there more in the tank or are you taking a break or what's going on? It is here. There's a lot more coming. I got, I got more coming with CTC. And then I got a lot more singles coming out. You can expect more shit to come out with me and my little bro. Uh, bro, I'm trying to drop at least like. 15 to 20 more songs this year. That's crazy. And I'm trying to be way more consistent. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I've been fucking last year, and I need my bros, with all these stacked up hella songs and shit, but this year, it's crazy. 2021. That's hard. I feel like a lot of people ask about Maurizio. So, are you guys doing a project together, or is it that's that's FG's brother? For those that don't know, is it a project together, or is it just singles here and there? I think we're gonna make it a fucking take. Honestly, how seriously does he take music? Like, is that like does he love it, or is it kind of just something he does? Or he loves music. He always loves music. Okay. But it just seems because I don't know him very well, so it seems like he has like other priorities. You know what I'm saying? Can you need a drink? I have a Lost Coast Indica IPA that's really good. You want to do that or you want? I want some more like. Do you have Pacific Dog actually? No, but I have Tecate. I like Tecate with a little lime. Huh? Um, no, we don't have any fig or anything like that. I have a Coors or a Miller Lite. You want Coors? It's a Coors Banquet. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy that. All right. Yeah, what was the same up there? No, I was saying, um, so, to me, since I don't know your brother very well, I, it seems like he has other priorities other than music. Is that true? Like, does he have another dream, or is music his dream? Like, what are his goals? Well, he loves music a lot, so, you know, I'm trying to just get him in the music scene and all that, so, he's more, like, my brother's really shy, too. You know? Okay. He's okay. really expressive, but he's a shy person, but, you know, I'm just, he's trying to get more, like, especially lately, like, I've been getting him in the loop more. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get him way more in the music scene because he's naturally talented as fuck. Well. Yeah, I feel like he has a lot of fans out here and he might not even really know it like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'll be telling him, like, nigga, like, he just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's more of, I think for him is like, you know, you need, like, a little motivation. And all the shows and shit we've been doing, like, he, I can definitely tell you he's, he's definitely more right than he was back in the day. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, Cause he never could imagine himself as an artist, you know. I told him like, you know, yeah, like, I really had to show him kind of like, you know, you're already an artist yourself. Now he he, he sees the vision. Okay. Yeah, he definitely sees the vision. Um, you're one of the few artists out here I know that has a major feature from a. I mean, DC Young Fly is a comedian, but he's also a big artist. Like he does his thing. So, with now that that experience is kind of fully behind you, what? What would you say were the pros of it? What would you say were the cons of it? Mm -hmm. And was it worth the investment? You don't have to break down what the investment was, but was it to add, like, as FG Thriller, if a new artist was to say, I want to get a, a feature like that on my record, would you say do that? Or would you be like, nah, don't do that? I would say honestly, because it wasn't honestly, like, too costly or anything. And it wasn't like, you know, it was honestly like you know i helped push the track and as well so i'll say yeah uh you know what i'm saying like this is a game like i know you two know too like when you're coming up you got to kind of pay to play sometimes and not all the time but 
I'm saying for certain things, like you really want to get like a feature and you're not, you're not even a big name yet or whatever it is, you know, most of the time, unless you're really lucky, it's going to be also for the rest. And, and let me jump in and say that that particular like he's 100% right about paying to play that particularly is not paying to play because that's just you know you just got to come out of pocket sometimes when you when you work with niggas that that got a little bit of a status yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying so and I just want to clarify that for the audience because there's some young niggas watching probably that think that getting a feature or paying a feature is paying to play and it's not that's just called doing business so that's, yeah, that's I say business because that's how I look at my music like it's, it's business and you know what I'm saying like that's how you gotta look at shit it's not you know what I'm saying like like you said I guess it wouldn't be paying to play it's like investing in yourself you know what I'm saying videos all that shit so if you ain't willing to invest in yourself who's gonna invest in you right. you know what I want to invest in you if you're willing to invest in yourself that's just facts right. you know what I'm saying so, so look at speaking of investing in yourself, you're very vocal about stocks, very vocal about crypto trades. Doge is almost at a dollar. Um, so, do you? Uh, how big are you into the, being diverse in your investments besides investing in yourself in your rap career? And what recommendations would you have for other artists? Uh, I'd say like, a lot of people don't know what I do outside of like my music and shit. But you know, like music is like some that I invest. I invest time every day. I always make sure I have some time for my music. Either I'm writing. I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying I'm on lunch, trying to chop it up, or you know, whatever it is, trying to link up with something, or I'm sending out some trash. I'm more, I always try to work on my music besides that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, investments are basically I'm making my money. You know what I'm, I'm in crypto. Four eggs. You know, just the other day, actually, I was so proud of myself. I was gonna post that stuff. Uh, I just bought my first Ethereum. You know, oh, like, shit, you know, okay. I was like, I want Ethereum. I got a couple of them. That's dope. I definitely still bought it. Hey, yo, and that's a big flex because Ethereum just went up to like 3,300 the other day. The other day. So my nigga's a, he's big flexing out, y'all, if you don't know. You know what I'm saying? We, we, got, we got the e basic ETH hoodie, you know what I'm saying? It's only 0.52, so FG can afford that, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, what, um, what are the benefits, would you say, of uh, rocking with the collective the way you rock with PR? You know what I'm saying? Because there are a lot of artists out here who want to be by themselves. They want to be the number one ace, like, you know what I'm saying? But um, I know you know that that it takes it takes a village kind of to raise one one rap career to the top it takes a whole village so um speak on that experience if you can i feel like like just like i was saying earlier like with the network like what i was saying what you're saying with the dc shit at this music shit actually the baby said this shit too but i always thought like that like half this music shit's your music the other half is your networking so if you ain't networking like that dc shit i would even like i said like it's, it was more of a networking like business you know what i'm saying if you ain't networking you ain't got like a little team you gotta have a team you know what i'm saying you gotta have just a network going on that is just always building and just you helping fuck you up them tacos too bro this is a hood podcast so yeah yeah do oh, your yeah. thing do your thing and i'm over here like shit i ain't gonna take a bite <laughs> yeah, do your thing it's called less that one that's like both of us yeah, at the same time yeah, yeah. It's actually hard how you do that. I was wondering how you do that, but just that's on the it. iPhone too, you do that's it? That's it, bro. That's actually wild. That's it. Technology is a beautiful thing. It's that is crazy. Thing. Um, yeah. go, I didn't mean to cut you off. Mm -hmm. but, uh, what was I saying? Uh, you, were, you were saying that well, you were like, yeah, so fucking, you know, came from more of like uh, when I first met him, you know, obviously, you know, they shot my videos and. Ever since then, we just start networking and just talking and working with each other more. And basically, you know, like, like hey, you know, like, you're basically part of the team, like, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's where I stand with them. Like, those are my fucking bros. Do you ever worry about, and this is just devil's advocate, but do you ever worry about um, maybe being pigeonholed for your for your sound sometimes or for your not your sound because you have a very diverse sound but your 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 aesthetic video wise because you only work with one director all the time like do you can you see that being a minus in the future or is that only a plus because you're fortunate in the sense that he's easily one of the most talented people on the coast you know what I'm saying but Sometimes I can pigeonhole you or sometimes it might, you know, you just maybe just not might not be experienced.